My name is Sarah. I'm from Flavor Temptations. Uh, my husband and I, we own this company and um, this is our very first Amazon live video and so I hope you can give us feedback as to how that goes. So we are uh, pretty much starting this up from, from start. Um, Flavor Temptations. So our company basically it makes it easy for you to cook Indian food from scratch and um, you know, Indian cooking is can be very complicated. I'm guessing you're watching this video because you love Indian food and you have maybe gone to some Indian restaurants and you have eaten Indian food and you have either tried to cook Indian food or you have downloaded some recipes and you've been wondering where do I get all the spices from and how do I put it all together. So one secret about Indian cooking, uh, Indian food is a flavor building process. It's not about throwing everything into the pot at the same time. And so it is basically making sure that you get all your spices set up together and they are all measured out and they have to be added in a specific sequence. The seeds typically go in first and then subsequently is followed by the vegetables or the protein and then you have the powders going in and at the very end you can have a garnish. And sometimes there's a garnish, sometimes there isn't. So that's why it can get a little tricky and a little complicated uh, like my son found out when he left the house and messed up cooking, um, he didn't know exactly how to add all the spices and he didn't realize the flavor building process about Indian cooking. So I had to literally, you know, measure out things for him and pre-measure everything for him and give it to him and teach him how to cook Indian food. But that is, that's, that's another story. But typically why we really started this business is to share my mother's recipes with the rest of the world. Uh, my mom is an excellent cook. Uh, she lives in India right now and she's an excellent cook and when my mom and dad when they lived in India and she like, uh, learned uh, to cook Indian food from various states because my father was being transferred from one Air Force base to another Air Force base being a combat pilot in the Indian Air Force. His dream was to um, share my mother's cooking with the rest of the world and the way he wanted to do that was to take the Indian, the food that she made and then uh, once they retired, he wanted to actually take the food and go and uh, put it in a food cart and sell it at a beach uh, in southern India, in Chennai, where you may have heard about Chennai running into a lot of water problems now. So that is the city that we are from and so that was my father's dream to share her food with the rest of the world and uh, take it and, and sell it in the beach. However, he, um, he was killed in an air crash uh, while on duty and that was many years ago and so he never really got to fulfill his dream. So here I am uh, with the help of my supportive family trying to fulfill my father's dream by bringing my mother's recipes to you. So how am I doing that? As I said, in Indian cooking, it can be really uh, a lot of spices that go into Indian food. And this is what my mother taught me. She gave me a spice box. And um, all the spices in this box, they're very um, uh, consistent with what I need for my cooking. And every Indian uh, household would have a spice bag, a spice box like this. It contains seeds, the mustard seeds, black mustard seeds, and then cumin seeds. And it also contains powders <clears throat> like coriander powder, and then it contains some cumin powder and of course turmeric which is the wonder spice that we are hearing a lot about and uh, also contains some other seeds like lentils and uh, the one spice which really gives the heat in Indian cooking is the uh, cayenne pepper so this is powdered cayenne and you use this very carefully you don't if you add a lot of it your food could get very spicy so most people think Indian food is very spicy. They, they think that, oh, I cannot eat Indian food. There's too much spice to it. In reality, the, all, the other spi all the spices provide is flavor. And the only spice that gives you the heat is the cayenne pepper. And that is the spice that is always, uh, has to be used very carefully and um, make sure that, um, they, that, that you're not adding too much of that. So what we do, because these spices need to be used judiciously and they need to be measured out correctly, what we do is we provide recipe packets. 
<clears throat> so a typical recipe packet looks like this it contains my mother's recipe and um, an easy to follow recipe basically written in my own language because i'm not a chef i'm just a, a, a mom and um, i just put, put that together to help my son out and it contains pre-measured spices all our recipe packs are gluten-free uh, you can make many vegetarian and vegan dishes out of these and you can actually vary the kind of fresh produce that you add to this so once you uh, buy a recipe pack like this all you have to do is add the fresh ingredients based on <clears throat> the what you need section at the back of each packet as you can see from the nutrition label uh, of these recipe packs all these packets are very uh, enabled very clean healthy eating it, they contain um, no sodium, no salt, no sugars, no, no additives, no preservatives, none of that uh, funny stuff that you cannot pronounce at all. So my mother was a stickler about sodium and she made sure that she said, if I'm making these packets together with her recipe, she said, do not add any salt to it because <clears throat> almost every product out in the, in the market has got some kind of sodium which you cannot really control. So this way you can control your own sodium level and decide how much you want to add along with of course deciding how much of cayenne you want to have so inside each packet then uh, you will get a recipe pack of spices so this is a curried potato packet that i'm showing you and inside this you get a pouch which contains all the spices that you need everything is pre-measured we actually import our prices, spices directly from India. Uh, they are all organ USDA organic certified and they are put together by a team of low income um, uh, women who come from low income families. So we are actually helping the community out there as well. So the seeds, the mustard seeds, they're all, all the spices are labeled and measured out. So you don't have to worry about having to measure these. So there's the mustard seeds and then you have cumin seeds <clears throat> then you have the powders, so the coriander powder, uh, turmeric powder, and like I mentioned, the cayenne, which is the one which adds the heat to it. So you can decide how much of this you want, and it's labeled hot add as per taste. I call these packets something like a do-it-yourself kit uh, with all the ingredients there except for the fresh ingredients. So these are all the ethnic ingredients we focus on. We don't <clears throat> give any of the commonly found ingredients because those most likely are available in your own pantry. So all you have to do for making say a curry potatoes is to add your own fresh uh, potatoes. And so the prep work is all done. You just have to chop up some potatoes and before you know it, you're cooking and all the directions are out here. So very easy directions. Now you could use this packet with either potatoes or you can use it with cauliflower or you can use it with sweet potatoes or green beans. <clears throat> so that is how these packets work. So the three um, dishes we have currently is curried potatoes and then um, chana masala which is chickpeas in an onion tomato sauce and it's got 12 different spices in this including things like organic clove cinnamon cardamom everything which is made as a garnish and uh, the third packet that we contain that we have is a chicken tikka masala <coughs> chicken tikka masala is it's got a real funny story around this um, the british claim that they are the ones who discovered or who made uh, chicken tikka masala in reality when they came to India they adopted chicken tikka masala because they loved it so much so now it's available in almost every British um, uh, restaurant including Indian re restaurants in Britain and even non-Indian restaurants sometimes carry chicken tikka masala and they are very proud of this particular dish it's, of course it's available in many restaurants in India too uh, in, sorry in the in the USA as well so here you would see uh, the chicken tikka masala that is the marinade mix in this packet for you to marinate the chicken and then after that make a really authentic meal. One guarantee with these products, once you start cooking with these, you are going to start realizing that it's so easy to cook Indian food from scratch. You're going to be able to make very, very quick weeknight dinners um, and introduce your family to Indian food and enjoy it with your family and get them all to share in this experience and more than anything else your kitchen is going to smell like an indian restaurant 
So I hope to show you uh, how to make curry potatoes the next time around. And um, here is the packet of curry potatoes I just talked about. <coughs> so on Monday evening at 7 p.m. CST, I plan to um, actually make curry potatoes for my family because they were debating as to what to have for dinner on Monday and so it's going to be curry potatoes. And as I make it, I want to demonstrate how it is made and how easy it is to toast all the spices and then to add the, add the vegetables and then cook along with that. And the aromatic spices that you get from all the organic spices that we provide in our packet is going to be really awesome. I know I would be able to smell it and I hope you get to make it too and you can smell it. In addition, <clears throat> in addition, what we do as a company is uh, we donate a portion of our proceeds, sales proceeds, to food charities. So since inception, around four or five years ago, when we first started the company, we have, uh, till date, we have donated more than 42,000 meals to food charities in order to fight hunger in America. So uh, when you purchase these packets, your, your purchase is also going to be a portion of the proceeds is going also going to be contributing to those food charities and you should feel proud of that when you do, when you do purchase these packets. Uh, look at the carousel below, you will see all our products listed and uh, feel free to go in, poke around, uh, find out which product you like. Uh, among the three we have like a variety pack which contains all three packets also. Plus if you go to our um, Amazon store you will find um, additional project products that you can you can uh, look at these are all on discounted prices right now through prime day uh, that is uh, on july 15th and 16th and on july 15th evening that is monday evening i will show you how to make curry potatoes so with that i'm going to sign off again my name is sarah hope you enjoyed watching this and hope we can be friends and we can uh, keep in touch thanks have a good night bye